human brain, the most complex thing in the universe. A magical machine that outshines every known thing that humans have ever made. It stores our memories and vast knowledge that we gather by seeing or doing things. But as we know each thing in nature has a limit, does our brain has limit of storing memory or things that we gather, will our brain will run out of memory, if we try to store more and more memory in it? Let's answer this question. In 2014, some clever researchers in Japan tried to match the processing power in one second from 1% of the brain to a supercomputer. That does not sound like very much, and yet it took the fourth fastest supercomputer in the world, at that time the K computer 40 minutes to crunch the calculations for a single second of brain activity. That's how complex and superior our brain is in terms of functioning. Human brain consists of about 100 billion neurons which largely do the work of data storage. Each neuron forms about 1,000 connections to other neurons, amounting to more than a trillion connections. If each neuron could only help store a single memory, running out of space would be a problem. You might have only a few gigabytes of storage space, similar to the space in the USB flash drive. Yet neurons combine so that each one helps with many memories at a time, exponentially increasing the brain memory storage capacity to something closer to around 2.5 petabytes or a million gigabytes. For comparison, if your brain worked like a digital video recorder in a television, 2.5 petabytes would be enough to hold 3 million hours of TV shows. You would have to leave the TV running continuously for more than 300 years to use up all that storage. But what if we increased our life expectancy to 500 years or more? Will our brain still work effectively? Or it will crash down to an explosion of information that it will not able to handle? Our brain works in a very sophisticated way. The brain storage is the more or less passive process of retaining information in the brain, whether in the sensory memory, the short-term memory or the more permanent long-term memory and forgetting certain memories to free up space. Each of these different stages of human memory function as a sort of filter that helps to protect us from the flood of information that confronts us on a daily basis, avoiding an overload of information and helping to keep us thinking. Some memories are simply forgotten and thus free up space. Our brain just forgets some old memories or things that are not worth remembering, and our brain may merge some old information with the new one, making it a single entity. Our brain simply cannot remember every tiny details of everything. It tends to remember the most important thing that we see in an object. Such as the new password that you made on any of the social media accounts. Our brain tends to forget the old password and it replaces it with a new password. It is as simple as that. Forgetting a memory is the best way to make more room for new memories to form. It forgets unimportant things and thus solving the storage problem forever.